The Met's next cinema transmission will be Thomas Addis's extraordinary new opera, The Exterminating Angel. It's coming to the Met after triumphant runs in Salzburg and London. Tom is joining me now, along with two members of his stellar ensemble cast, soprano Amanda Echelas and tenor Joseph Kaiser. Hello. Hello. Tom, The Exterminating Angel is your interpretation of the classic 1962 surrealist film by Luis Buñuel about a nightmarish dinner party from which the guests can't seem to ever escape. How did you decide on this as the subject of your third opera? Well, it was the only subject I wanted to do. It's, uh, <laughs> That's <laughs> it's a good perfect. reason. <laughs> I always think when I go to an opera and they get into trouble, why don't they just go home? Why don't they just walk off the stage? <laughs> right. So this is that problem in its simplest form as, yeah. a, as a story, as if it's a fairy tale. Oh, fantastic. Amanda and Joseph, you play the hosts of this dinner party from hell. Amanda, <laughs> you've been with this production since its world premiere in Salzburg. How do audiences respond to it? Well. I'd say in Salzburg and also in London, it's been phenomenal, the response. That's um, good. And it quickly <laughs> became the hot ticket. <laughs> good, oh but great. But I think what's really interested me is that audiences that I've spoken to, people that have been to the show, all have a totally different interpretation of what they've seen. Okay. And I think just the surreal nature of the piece means that it's really left up to the audience for what they want to see in it, what makes sense to them, what they feel. Wow. And so I think it's, it's a very exciting experience to be an audience member. Very, very yeah. nice. I like that. Joseph, this is an opera that features live sheep <laughs> and one of the largest ensemble casts to ever play on the stage of the Met. What are some of the more unusual bits of stage action that you can share with us? Well, the sheep are amazing. I got yes. to pet them on the first day. <laughs> are that they well was, behaved? <laughs> yeah, I, relatively. I <laughs> okay, mean, good. you know, there's some accidents here and there, yeah, but yeah. nothing we can't fix. Okay. No, they're adorable. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a bear, not a real bear, but a scary bear nonetheless. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's five there's water, um, but I, I really think the biggest element is, you know, these people, these hoity-toity social, social graces fill right. people that come in and then everything is stripped away. Mm -hmm. and, and it really does become a, like a nightmare and you're yeah. just, it's I don't know, you're left, yeah, it's survival and, and you're left, uh, I don't know, like looking for any sort of Anything. food, any sort of water, yeah. things yeah. that were so precious at the beginning, now you're just smashing into them because you just <laughs> yes. have to live. That's you awesome. just have to survive. The yeah. cello gets very... Oh, God. God. oh, that's yeah. great! Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for that. Tom, tell us a little about your score and some of the unusual instruments that are featured in it. Well, to evoke the supernatural elements of it, I right. used an electronic instrument, the Armed okay. Martineau, which oh, would be familiar cool. from things like early horror right, movies. Right, right, yeah. Sort of a, and uh, it's like the voice of the invisible exterminating angel. So every time you hear it, you know somebody's something's happening, something right. is up. It's like Trouble's hearing the moving. wind. Trouble is moving. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of um, amusing percussion instruments. There's a big set of offstage drums, like the whole town drumming, which is wow. something I took oh, from cool. uh, Spain. So, That's very you know. cool. Amanda and Joseph, what is it like singing Tom's music? You can well, say it. I, I think it would be fair to say that Mr. Addis writes very challenging yes. vocal lines. Yes. So I always feel it's a bit like going to the gym and doing a really intense work. Okay. It's, it's tough, boss. but yeah. at the end you feel good. When yeah. you have so. great singers like Joe and Amanda, you can do this, you see, because they'll rise to the challenge. But I think for the audience, it's very exhilarating because okay. you hear the voices at the real extremes. Oh, know, cool. I, and, and it actually makes perfect sense, right? Because yeah. these people are being pushed to their extremes. Yep. And so, of mm -hmm. course, you want to hear and see an extreme visceral reaction from them, mm -hmm. what better way to do that than to sort of have people extended throughout their range. I love it, frankly. I really do. I love wow. singing his music. and we it, love It's it. very hard. We no, but it's it. true. <laughs> it, it was, to be fair, it's, it's hard to learn. But once right. you have it, it then it just all makes sense. Kind of like Strauss, you know? Like, there's a way yeah, that okay. once you know Strauss, it, it kind of feels like once Mozart. You've got the language this, once you've got the language, it kind of feels like Strauss. Ooh, yeah. That's a good yeah. compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you will be conducting the performances as you did when your opera, The Tempest, premiered at the Met in 2012. How has the Met Orchestra been responding to this new score? Well, we know each other very well. And right. they, they've taken to it very quickly. They've okay. recognized elements that mm -hmm. they know, waltz and uh, bark, things like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
just like with the Tempest, where we the HD broadcast the mm -hmm. DVD, we all won a Grammy, so we're very pleased about yep, that. Yeah, that's so right. We hope yeah, well, you know, there we go. Repeat the performance. Tom, Amanda, Joseph, thank you all for joining me. I really can't wait to see the exterminating angel in movie theaters on November 18th. Thank you so much.